It's Umsum time! What if sea levels rise by 10 meters? Don't worry, Umsum will save everybody. <laughs> huh? Oh, Umsum. Firstly, some people hate swimming. If sea levels rise by 10 meters, they will definitely leave for a different planet. <laughs> hmm. Secondly, if sea levels rise by huh? 10 meters, we may have to get used to living with whales. Hmm. Thirdly, if sea levels rise by 10 meters, people who just bought a beachfront property may leave for a different planet. Hmm. Fourthly, if sea levels rise by 10 meters, a lot of land may get lost. High-rise buildings may get extremely overcrowded. Hmm. Fifthly, if sea levels rise by 10 meters, we may start finding a lot of weird sea creatures popping up inside our living room. Hmm. Lastly, if sea levels rise by 10 meters, surfers will be overjoyed. They may start surfing huh? inside their home. <laughs> Huh? Mm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> what if we drink only seawater? Nah, I only drink chocolate milkshake. Oh, Umsum. On an average, seawater has salinity of about 3.5%. When we drink seawater, water as well as excess salt get absorbed oh. in our blood. One of the functions of our kidneys is to remove this excess salt from our blood. But urine produced by kidneys has a salt concentration which is less than 3.5% of that of seawater. Hence, it ah. needs more water to remove all the excess salt. As a result, we feel thirsty after drinking seawater. Excess seawater consumption can lead to dehydration. Secondly, excess drinking of seawater will also hinder the blood purifying process of our kidneys. How? Because solute concentration inside the filtering units of our kidneys will be lower than that of the highly saline blood. Hence, huh? due to osmosis, blood doesn't get purified. Hmm. What if all the seawater becomes fresh water? Now, what if all the seawater becomes chocolate milkshake? Oh, <laughs> listen. First of all, the biggest advantage will be that it will solve the water crisis all over the world. Hmm. However, there will be quite a number of disadvantages. Firstly, most of the fishes will die. Why? In fresh water, due to a process called osmosis, the cells of the fishes oh. will swell up, thus eventually killing them. Secondly, experts believe that tiny organisms called zooplankton and phytoplankton, which are critical to the marine life food chain, will die off, leading to mass extinction of marine life. In addition to this, phytoplankton produce half of the world's oxygen via photosynthesis. Without them, there would be far less oxygen available for us to breathe. Hmm. Lastly, experts believe that salt in the seawater has a major impact on ocean currents, which in turn influence our climate. However, as more research is required, experts don't exactly know what will happen if all the seawater becomes fresh water. Hmm.